Hey everybody, Christopher Beast here, and today I have a short video quickly covering the new experimental build that released earlier today. This build is 0.9.6.54, or 6.54 for short. This build features some new minor fixes across the board, and with no more delay, let's just get right into this. Starting off, we have a fix that will make sure that rolling while prone actually works. Despite it supposed to have been added in the build's release, it didn't actually work in the original patch. And now, after this patch, we can finally roll to our heart's content, and I think it looks pretty cool. Next up, turning left in trucks has been changed, so it's no longer less efficient than turning right. While this is a very minor change, it's nice to see and should make the game feel more polished overall. Following that, we have a fix to incorrect outline icons used for spawn positions in the respawn menu. Going from previously showing up as just a flag, the new system shows a unit marker on the map. I think this works a lot better this way, so I personally like this change. From there, we have some really minor ones. A fix to trucks so objects attached to them won't float underneath the vehicle anymore. The game will no longer crash if there is no base trigger component attached to it or crash if you change zeroing when there is no sight attached. And apparently there was a fix with magazine swapping during weapon inspection, but when I logged on to see, I actually couldn't get weapon inspect to work at all. I'm really hopeful that this was just a one-off and just with me, and that it's not completely bugged. Next, they stated that they fixed heavy depot construction, another thing I wasn't able to check, so I'm sorry for that. Moving back to minor fixes, they fixed some memory leaks in Event Handler, some issues with the replication system, an issue with disappearing characters in first person, some issues with left hand during prone, some minor changes to penetration, and AI being unable to use turrets, which as I show in this clip, doesn't seem to actually help them out too much against a squad of enemies, but is nice to see. Vehicle collider setup could also cause clipping when vehicles were colliding, but now they just collide properly as two cars smashing into each other should. This was a nice small update to the experimental build, and its quick nature of being out only one week after the last update and being the third update in two weeks is very promising. I will continue to try and keep you guys updated on Reforger updates moving forward, especially regarding the experimental build. So until we have further news, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.